This tutorial will show you how to use the L308S Instant and Flash Light Meter. The power button. If you press and hold it, it will turn on the LCD display. The Lumisphere, which covers up the lens for either reflective light or instant light reading. Typically we use instant light reading, which means the Lumisphere will be covering the lens. The mode button will switch you between incident or continuous light reading, flash light reading, which will automatically read when the strobe is fired, or this strobe mode, which when having a PC sync cord hooked into the terminal, when you hit the measuring button, the strobe will fire, giving you an accurate reading of the light. For this tutorial, we're just going to be showing the continuous light reading. Next is your ISO button. If you press and hold that down, on the side here are two buttons, an up and a down value. If you press and push the down value button, your ISO will change. It will go down in third stops. Remember, it is very important to change your ISO depending on your film or your ISO on your digital camera. Let's say for this tutorial, my camera has an ISO of 100. I switch it to ISO 100 up here. This is a shutter speed. Imagine a 1 slash 250 there. This means 250th of a second. The side toggles here will change the shutter speed, either up for faster or down for slower. Let's say we're shooting a model or something moving. Generally the rule in the studio is you don't want to have anything below 1 25th of a second or 1 60th of a second. For this tutorial, we'll keep it to 1 60th of a second. Next, this value right here, that's going to be your f-stop. Once I press this button, it will take a meter reading of the lighting situation in this room. With direct light on this copy stand, our correct exposure is 1 60th of a second at 5.6 and 8 tenths. This 8 tenths means it's almost f8. You will see different numbers here ranging from 1 to 9. This means how close it is to the next stop. Now if I want to change my shutter speed, that's easy. I don't need to take another light reading because the computer inside of the light meter will already do the math for me. So if I change the toggle here, let's go up to 1 25th of a second. As you can see, the f-stops changed too. This went down one more full stop to f4. f4 and 8 tenths, meaning almost 5.6. So the correct exposure would be 1 25th of a second at almost 5.6. I say almost because either your digital camera or your film camera will measure in half stops or third stops. To get the correct exposure, we would probably shoot at f5, which is one third stop less than 5.6.